Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Pilgrimage, a journey to faith. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, proclaim the pilgrimage to all people. They will come to you on foot and on every kind of swift mountain. Emerging from every deep mountain, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Pilgrimage is the fifth pillar of Islam and it is one of the most beloved acts to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. It's an act that raises one's reward and removes his sins and wipes out evil deeds. The Almighty Allah said pilgrimage to the house is a duty owed to Allah by people who are able to undertake it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said Islam is built on five pillars, testimony that there is no God but Allah, establishing prayer, giving zakah, fasting Ramadan, and hajj for people who are able to undertake it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said whoever performs pilgrimage pilgrimage and does not approach his wife for sexual relations nor commit sins while performing pilgrimage he will come out as sinless as a newly born child in another hadith the prophet peace be upon him said are you not aware of the fact that islam wipes out all the previous misdeeds Verily, migration wipes out all the previous misdeeds, and verily, the pilgrimage wipes out all the previous misdeeds. Also, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The performance of Umrah is an expiation for the sins committed between it and the previous Umrah, and the reward of Hajj, Mabrur, one accepted, is nothing but paradise. Pilgrimage is a blessed journey of faith driven by devotion to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, away from showing off and hypocrisy. The pilgrim leaves his home, migrates to his Lord, and leaves his family in humbleness to his Lord, moving between the holy rituals with a humble heart and with his tongue mentioning the name of Allah, hoping for his mercy and fearing from his punishment. The Almighty Allah said, We showed Abraham the side of the house, saying, Do not assign partners to me. Purify my house for those who circle around it, those who stand to pray, and those who bow and prostrate themselves. This is why the first thing that a pilgrim starts with is proclaiming the oneness of Allah, saying, Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik, إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك. I am here at your service, O Allah. I am here at your service. I am here at your service. You have no partner. I am here at your service. Surely the praise and blessings are yours, and the dominion you have no partner. There is no doubt that the pilgrimage is an opportunity for mentioning the name of Allah, which is the greatest purpose for all acts of worship in general. And for pilgrimage in particular, the Almighty Allah said to attain benefits and celebrate Allah's name on specified days. Also Allah said, but it is no offense to seek some bounty from your Lord when you surge down from Arafat, remember Allah at the sacred place. Remember him, he has guided you before that you were astray. Surge down where the rest of the people do and ask forgiveness of Allah. He is most forgiving and merciful. When you have completed your rights, remember Allah as much as you remember your own fathers or even more. So a pilgrim gets inner peace and tranquility by mentioning the name of Allah. As Allah said, surely in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find comfort.
pilgrims remember in their pilgrimage the day of resurrection as a great numbers of people gather in one place. And by this they remember the crowds of the day of resurrection, the day when Allah will gather the first and last creatures on a tremendous day, the day when all people will stand before the Lord of all worlds. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that pilgrimage is a season to strengthen social relations as during pilgrimage people get acquainted to one another and show mercy and compassion for each other, which reveals the Islamic fraternity in its best form. The Almighty Allah said, This community of yours is one, and I am your Lord. Be mindful of me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, An Arab has no superiority over non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over Arab. Also, the white has no superiority over the black, nor does the black have any superiority over the white, except by piety. All of you are the children of Adam, and Adam was created from dust. We affirm, however, one's pilgrimage is not considered complete unless this person is blessed with virtues and avoids vices. Pilgrimage is all about morals, responsibility, and good manners. The Almighty Allah said the pilgrimage takes place during the prescribed months. There should be no indecent speech, misbehavior, or quarreling for anyone undertaking the pilgrimage. Whatever good you do, Allah is well aware of it. Provide well for yourselves. The best provision is to be mindful of Allah. Always be mindful of me, you who have understanding. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, I guarantee a house in paradise for one who gives up arguing, even if he is on the right. And I guarantee a home in the middle of paradise for one who abandons lying, even for the sake of fun. And I guarantee a house in the highest part of paradise for one who has good manners. Thus a pilgrim should not argue, dispute, or harm anyone by his words or deeds. Rather, he has to help the weak, care about them, and be a good companion and modest with everyone with him. He has to be keen to perform the rituals of the fullest, mentioning the name of Allah much, and do all other, all other acts of worship. O Lord, accept our good deeds and guide us all that you love and is pleased with.